Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? In today's video, we are going to be doing an extreme organized declutter kitchen edition. We tackle my fridge here in the kitchen area, my garage fridge. We even organize and declutter a cabinet. I got some new pots and pans. I cannot wait to share them with you. We are getting it all done in today's video. It's going to be a big one. So make sure you get yourself a nice comfortable spot and a cup of coffee and let's dive right in. Just got home from a very large Target run, so I'm gonna give a very, very quick shopping haul. I will put a timestamp here on the screen as well if you'd rather skip and get right into the cleaning. That is fine too, but if you guys like today's video, I would love if you could hit that thumbs up button. If you're new, I would love to have you subscribe, and let's get into the haul. This is my little haul from Target. I actually did a Target drive up order yesterday too and I got some really, really cute things. So I'll show you guys really, really quickly what I grabbed today and then show you the fun stuff that I got yesterday. But I got kind of like a mixed bag of things. So some of this stuff is to put in our trailer. We have a fifth wheel toy hauler and it's nice just to keep whatever we can in there. It's less to pack. So I got this first aid kit just to have, I have two boys, we all know how that goes. We got plenty of band-aids and everything that we need there. Some basic shampoo and conditioner just to keep in the rig as well. That's good for the whole family. We got some sunscreen to throw in there. And these are new. I've not seen this version of the Clorox wipes. They say paper towel wipe. So let me know down below if you guys have used these. Um, they were marked down. So I don't know, maybe they're not a hit, but I thought why not? They were marked down, so I'll give it a shot. I grabbed this for my husband. Again, a new brand we've never used before. Some ibuprofen to keep in the trailer. Um, these are for me. I take these every single morning. They are just really, really good. I try and eat these, uh, take one of these about 30 minutes before I have any coffee or eat any food. So I grabbed those. Um, and I also grabbed some children's Tylenol for the trailer. So all this will pretty much be going out. This will be staying. And then I grabbed a brand new eyeliner. I've never used this one before, but I've been kind of enjoying liquid eyeliner. Again, I kind of took a break from it, but I'm kind of missing it. So again, let me know if you guys have used this before. It looks like a good one. And hopping over to the rest of the stuff, we got some kids snacks. Um, actually, after this week, we're on spring break. So we need all the snacks in the house. So grab just a variety pack of pretzels. These are from the Target dollar spot. These were $5, but I loved the color. It's like a navy with white. Um, I grabbed one of these for the trailer and then another blue one for the house and then this white one for the house. It has more of like a beigey um, pattern on it and it's white, so grabbed three of those. These are also from the dollar spot. These were $5 and it comes with the little battery lit candle inside and I thought how cute when we're camping to put these on like the little picnic tables. I wanted three but the third one didn't work so I'm glad that I tested these. So I'll have to keep my eye out for a third one but these were just five dollars each. I'm actually going to put these in here so good little dollar spot finds. I also grabbed some footage so I can make a reel because this dollar spot had really really good stuff. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram I'll put my handle here on the screen um, make sure you check me out over there. I love going over there and connecting with you all. We got a couple things of Capri Sun. My boys love the Pacific Cooler. Another thing of Lucky Charms to refill my cereal um, bin in there. We were getting low on fruit snacks. I got a couple, um, these are new. It's, I think they're called Cosmic Crisp. Um, they sounded good, so I just got a couple of apples for us to snack on. Um, I love to snack on these when I'm at home, just like as a light lunch. And then I got these for my husband. He loves to eat these in the morning. So I got him um, for those. Uh, cucumber. I got more of these little brie cheeses. They're just like little snack sizes. These are amazing. Um, some of these Nutellas to go for the boys. I had to get these mini eggs. I miss these when they're not around for Easter. Those are so good. Um, some tortillas for breakfast burritos and quesadillas. 
some more bananas. This is the bread my husband likes and then bread for the boys. And then some more lunch snacks. We got the apple cinnamon fig bars, the blueberry, and then the strawberry cereal breakfast bars. Ruger's out there making sounds. He gets more vocal in his old age. Um, some baby carrots and some hummus. I love eating these together. Some salad for dinner tonight. I'm just doing a Bertoli, um, I think it's like a chicken and cheese ravioli with salad, basil pesto sauce, and garlic bread. Really easy meal. Got some sausage and some bacon. A couple of these. The boys love these. I don't buy these very often, but these banana flavored ones are really good and they don't have them all the time. So I grabbed a couple boxes of those. My Spindrift drinks, when we head out into the garage fridge, I have a couple other flavors out there. We'll get these all organized, make it all aesthetically pleasing like I like it. But this is a new flavor I haven't tried yet. It's orange mango and they looked so good. These were a little bit of an impulse buy. I just thought the sun looked so happy and I, can ju I just feel like my boys would love these. So I grabbed a pack of these paper plates and then two packs of water. Um, I'll pack these for when we go camping, but I love to just have packs of water on hand. Just you never know what you need them for. They're um, easy to throw in the boys' backpacks too for school so they don't um, lose like their actual Yeti water bottles because those are a little pricey to replace. But this is what I picked up from this trip to Target. And then I'll show you a couple more decorative things that I found yesterday. So I grabbed this plant from Target drive up yesterday. It's a faux rosemary by Threshold and these were on clearance. A lot of these were like 12 bucks. Um, so you have to check your local Target. Um, but I just loved the color and texture on the pot and for $12, I feel like that was even cheaper maybe than home goods. So I got this one and I got two others. So let me grab those. The other one that I grabbed and this one is also by Threshold. And this one is a faux flowering rosemary. And can you see like the little pink and white buds on it? I just thought it was so springy. I loved it. And then again, it has um, a little bit different of a pot, but along the same lines in color. So I'm just kind of sprinkling those around the house. I'm not sure if this is going to stay here. Um, we are yet to really decorate for Easter in spring. So um, that will be in an upcoming video. So stay tuned. I did pick up some new stuff. And then let me take you over and show you the other plant. This is the other one that I got. I think this one was around $17. It is a little bit bigger. Um, but this one, again, is a faux rosemary. But this one says topiary. Um, again, same matching pot. This one's a little bit taller. So I put it here on my coffee table because I wanted a plant on here. Um, so I just put it here for now with this candle. I doubt this is how it's going to stay, but it's here for now. So I grabbed these again from Target yesterday. So definitely check your local Target and see if they have these. Um, I think they're around, okay, yeah, so these were $20 originally. And like I said, I think this was around $17. So I think that's a good price. It's a pretty good size. You can see the size of my hand. So yeah, if you guys like little Target hauls, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let's jump in to the cleaning. When I blame you for the things that weigh me down Cause in the echo of your silence I only hear what's best for me Yeah, in the echo of your silence I'm thinking more of her She who wants to study your body Who gets the better version of you
If you missed my major pantry transformation, you definitely want to go back and watch that after you're done watching this video. I will link it down below. And the pantry, as you guys saw, is doing really, really well. It's functioning just as it should. I am still slowly collecting containers and bins because it can add up and get really, really pricey very, very quickly. So I'm just kind of doing it slowly. So it's not exactly where I want it still, but I feel like every single week it's just getting better and better and everything is staying where it's supposed to be and staying super organized. So I'm very, very pleased. And today we're gonna be cleaning out this fridge. So it's not terrible, but I cannot tell you the last time that I pulled everything out, wiped it down. And it's also been a minute since I've checked expiration dates for all my condiments in here. So we're gonna be doing that today. And I wanted to know how often do you all clean out your fridge? To wipe down the fridge today, I'm just going to use a wet microfiber cloth along with the Mr. Clean cleaner. This clean freak is really, really good. I also love using it in bathrooms and I think they have a couple of different scents, but I really do like it. Let me know if you guys have used this cleaner before. And I'm just gonna spray everything down and I need to let these drawers soak because there is some stuff stuck on there. So I'm hoping by the time I wipe down the shelving that the stuff on the drawers will just come off nicely. Now, some stuff was stuck so I had to bust out my scrub brush, but in the end, everything comes out so nice and clean and I love a good after. Sunsets, remember the colors, they were wrong, it was way more than a dream. We climbed up, you yeah, over the hillside, so right, we stood there all wide eyed, you and I floating on air in my mind. Cause there's no going back, no going back, there's no going back to your own life. No living in the past, we're over that. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights. We got this all cleaned out and wiped down. Let me get this out of here. 
but it's just all nice and clean and fresh. I think I'm gonna come in with my razor blade and take these off. I did these a couple years ago and I think I'm just gonna scrape them off um, because I'm reorganizing in here anyways, but this is all nice and clean now. It feels so good. This drawer was a little nasty. Now it's all nice and clean. It smells good. This is like a lemon scent, so it smells really, really good. But here's what we're left with. So I decided to tackle this part of the fridge and then get everything put away there and then work on the doors. I just feel like that's gonna be way less overwhelming because this is my kitchen island with everything spread out. Um, this is some of the new stuff, so I need to go through this and toss. That's what we're gonna do now. And then um, I wanna hurry up and get this stuff put away and into here so it can stay cold. So that's what I'm gonna work on next. So I just wanted to clarify that. I'm tackling this section and then get that portion of the fridge put away and then we will work on the doors. And then I recently did the freezer, but we will go in here as well. Um, because we had some stuff from the outside um, fridge freezer that um, we brought in here when it broke and now we can put some of this back out there. So we'll give this a little refresh too. So got some frozen fruit, um, but we will get to that next. So let's keep going. I was so happy to finally get these decals off of the fridge. They were fun while they lasted, but I'm just not really into labeling things like this, like unnecessarily. Um, I even sold off like all of my Ray Dunn with the exception of a few coffee mugs that I still really enjoy. Um, but I just don't like writing all over the house. I know that used to be a really, really popular thing. 
um, but I'm just like coming out of it now and it's been on my mind to get out my razor and take off all of these decals in the fridge so it feels really good that the fridge is clean and I finally got those off and like I said I had them for for a couple of years so I feel like I got my money's worth and my efforts were appreciated but it's time to move on now these strawberries are kind of at the end of their life so I'm just gonna slice them up and then I love to actually put them in the freezer and we can use them for smoothies I love doing that with bananas too I think people would usually at that point make banana bread but let's be honest I feel like I'm not gonna make the banana bread so I love to also put um, bananas at the end of their life into a Ziploc bag into the freezer too and then we have them for smoothies and then they don't end up in the trash so if you have any bananas and strawberries that are looking a little sad it may be a good time to pop those into your freezer The main portion of the fridge is looking really, really good and I can see everything that I have and that also is very helpful again when I need to go to the store. I'm not double purchasing, I'll know exactly what I have and it's just less waste and less stuff that ends up in the trash bin. So I'm gonna go through these shelves and throw out any condiments that were expired and I was actually surprised it wasn't that bad. I only threw away a couple of things and I'm just gonna reorganize and put things into groups which you guys will see here in just a minute. But using my handy dandy little scraper tool, I use this all the time. I got it off of Amazon. I will link it down below. I think it was less than $10 and it came with a bunch of refills and the little scraper. It, it's a really handy tool to have around. So I use that a few times in today's video and I love to use this thing all over my kitchen. this we need to wipe down all these fingerprints but I wanted to show you guys the fridge this definitely was 10 times easier than the pantry I can tell you that but everything in here is fresh and organized so I left the sodas in here because those were already good to go I wiped out all of these trays and drawers as you guys saw um, and then I made a list um, of things that I want to restock so I will do that next time I'm at the store so here I have for like coffee stuff. This little bowl, in case you guys are wondering, is for like condiments and stuff from when we order in or get takeout. Um, I don't like throwing them away, so I just have like this little dish here that we can put those in. Um, I got a thing of jelly. On this side we have some dressings. And then barbecue sauces, steak sauce, um, horseradish. I figured those kind of go in the same family. And then here is like our hot sauce, taco sauce, and then like lemon and lime juice. Um, and then up here we have like more popular condiments. So um, we have so much, um, sometimes we have like doubles and triples and stuff because when we go camping, we like buying these like little guys. Um, and if we don't finish the whole thing, we just bring it home and use it. So that's why we have like several of one in case you guys were wondering. So we got mayo, a few things of mustard. We even got Dijon. And then this is like a Thousand Island spread for like burgers and stuff. 
um, and then ketchups. Then here's where I usually keep my butter. As you can see, I'm down to like one little tiny thing of butter. And then this is my face roller, my J roller. So that's in there in the bag. And then you guys saw everything else in here got all nice and organized. We have like eggs. Um, these are like dips, salsas here and then i have a free space here which is great for when you have leftovers it's nice to have a dedicated space and then this is where we keep like the milk the orange juice like green juice iced coffee shakes and whatnot and then here we have like more of our dairy so our yogurts here's a big thing of yogurt for granola i put these in the kids lunches i actually put um these in the freezer too which you guys will see cream cheese cool whip the boys um lunch juices and then more of like our jalapenos pepperoncinis and then my big tub of butter here. And then I've got all of my fresh veggies, Brussels sprouts, salad, spinach. And then um, on my list, I need to get like strawberries and blueberries, stuff like that. But I have my cucumber and apples and limes. And then this one is meat and cheese drawer. So I've got like my little snacks and my little um, brie cheeses. Um, stream cheese, I need to get more sliced cheese, I have those there at the bottom, shredded cheese, and then um, the boys' little Lunchable, and then my little snacks, bacon, sausage, sliced meat, all goes in here. So that is the fridge, and so that way I don't wasteful buy when I go to the grocery store, I know exactly what I need and what I need to refresh, and I'm just gonna be much better about um, going through my fridge and not let it fall so far behind. So moving down to the freezer, we're gonna clean this up really quick. It's not gonna be anything near like what we just did for the fridge. I'm just gonna go through and pull out a lot of the bulkier stuff so we can bring it out to the garage. This clip here, I was so underwhelmed. Unless my husband came in here and cleaned this, I have not pulled up this tray and wiped down in here and I couldn't even tell you. And since we do have very hard water where we live, I thought that this was gonna be like 
calcium buildup and who knows what underneath this tray, but it was almost spotless. I'm like, what is going on here? So my husband must have come in here and wiped this down at some point because I know that I didn't do it. But here I thought I was gonna pull up this tray I was gonna have this amazing clip for you guys and be able to clean it up. And it was a total fail. <laughs> Here is the brand new fridge. Well, it came a few days ago, but um, our other one stopped working, kind of a bummer. I don't know why the light's not working in here. I think I have something up against it. I don't know, I'll have my husband look at that, but it's a brand new fridge, the light should be working. Anyways, we have a top freezer in this one. The other one used to be a fridge on top and freezer on the bottom. So I'm actually loving this setup. And then here's what we have in the door. We got a bunch of like our cold mugs for like margaritas. Can I help you? He's over here grunting and groaning. Um, so not the most organized, but we have like frozen juice, popsicles, and of course, you know, you gotta put your Thin Mints in the freezer. And then we have extra ice and then adult popsicles. Um, then we have an extra cup cocktail ice and then these for my husband's lunches it's like i have some extras here um some extra meat this is a tomahawk steak we have carne asada chicken breasts and then just some like quick lunch ideas and then pizza for the kids and then down here see why isn't the freezer light going on i'm gonna have to have my husband look at that i hope I hope this brand new fridge isn't broken already. Um, so this is so much more storage than we had in the last um, fridge. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna go through here and tidy up really, really quickly. Um, lots of drinks here. We host um, a lot of stuff at our house. So definitely don't go through all this alcohol very quickly. Um, and a lot of this is like left over from um, stuff that we hosted, but um, we got a ton of backstock eggs. Ruger's like up in my business. Um, my husband's drinks, and then we're going camping, and it's one of my girlfriend's birthdays, and I'm gonna make her a jello shot cake. So I made those last night, so I have all the trays of the jello shots. My spindrift um, drinks I need to go through, waters, and then again, some extra beers and stuff. Um, and then, <laughs> and then extra storage here at the bottom which is nice because I've never had like extra fruit and veggie drawers before so we're gonna go through here and just really really quickly tidy these up and then I really want to get into my caraway pots and pans because I have not opened the box you guys and it's killing me so let's straighten up in here really really quick Ruger watch out dude thank you say hi I gotta go wash my hands. I got everything all organized. I've got like some sparkling ice drinks and lemonades, Arnold Palmer's and my extra thing of milk over here in this store. And then I've got some drinks all organized here in this store. I tried to group everything together. 
and then I got all of our extra eggs. <laughs> we do have um, a family friend that has a chicken coop, so they give us like fresh, fresh eggs, and then in between I'll buy some, so it just depends on when they drop those off, so I got those there. And then all of my Spindrift drinks here, and then I showed you guys those jello shots I'm making, and then some beers in our cut waters all in a row, the different flavors. We got a thing of waters, bottled beer, um, the open cut waters, and then these ones. And then these are completely empty. So I can put some back stock in here. So that fridge is all done. And then the freezer. So we're all organized out here too. So I did not plan this out and it just worked out in my favor. Just like when I did the pantry, it just so happened to be a Monday when I did this and our trash gets picked up on Tuesdays. So luckily I was able to throw all this trash out into the bins and it was gone the very next day and we were not stuck with full trash cans. But next I wanted to show you guys my brand new pots and pans set by Caraway. I cannot believe that I actually own a set of these. I have been stalking their Instagram and admiring their pots and pans for so long. I'm definitely at the age where I appreciate quality over quantity and I've really been wanting to up my game in the kitchen because I do love to cook. If you guys are new here, I do meal delivery, delivery services and I love to cook delicious meals for my family. So upping my game with pots and pans was definitely on my list. Now today's video is not sponsored by Caraway, but they did gift these to me. Um, and I will see if I can get a link or a discount code or something for you guys. And if I can, I will have it down below in the description box, but thank you so much to Caraway for sending these to me. Um, I'm just so excited to try them out. You guys have no idea. I went with the navy color, but they do have a handful of beautiful colors to choose from. And this organizer here is for your lids and you guys will see me install this on my cabinet door. And it's so nice to have a specific place to put the lids and they're not just thrown into the cabinet like you guys will see here right now. This cabinet we are gonna be going through and tidying up and I'm gonna be purging and donating so many old pots and pans that I don't need or are toxic. The bottoms are all scraped out and I should not be cooking with them any longer. So let's go ahead and tackle, organize and declutter this pots and pan cabinet. I think I'm gonna go back to these cabinets and lay down some cabinet liners and I'll just line them as I go because a goal for my spring cleaning is to go through every cabinet in my kitchen and this is a great start. So I'm gonna go back and put some liners in. As you can see, there was some staining on the shelves from our cast iron pan and it just looks better when you line the shelves and it also protects your shelving as well. So I will go back and do that. And as you guys saw a couple of minutes ago, the sink and dishwasher were full. So I got those emptied off camera. And now we're just washing up these brand new pots and pans so we can put them away back into that nice clean cabinet. I wanna close my eyes and go back, play it in my mind. Of us two, yeah, we were happy at the time. Can't remember what it felt like. We used to be so strong. That picture perfect sky now, and look so great cold. We've been playing his and for a and you haven't said. 
these magnetic storage compartments that came with the pots and pans are absolutely amazing. I love that I can make these beautiful pots and pans look nice in the cabinet and also keep them organized. So it's not only aesthetically pleasing, but it's actually very, very functional. Um, and then here I'm going to hang the lid organizer. Now my shelves are very low and they're not very deep. And so the one pan I decided to just slide it in here and then I have an open area for what I want to add to my collection. They do have a bakeware set that I have my eye on. So I'll definitely be coming in here and doing some more organizing. But for now, I'm just obsessed with this space. So young and reckless, baby, you and I fit just like a glove but i guess that's over now that is going to conclude today's video i know it was a huge one but in the beginning of the video i warned you guys it was going to be a long one and we got a ton done and it feels so so good to have this done and behind me so if you guys enjoyed it it would help me a ton if you could hit that thumbs up button before you leave today i would also love if you could subscribe i am so close to 20,000 subscribers you guys i would love to have you if you wanted to hit that button before you left and thank you again to Caraway for gifting me my new pots and pans. I'm absolutely obsessed. Again, if I can get any type of discount or links for you guys, I will have it down below in the description box. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Silent treatment is just what it feels like